Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Madam Secretary, last fall, the parents and students at Jana Elementary in the greater St. Louis area, Florissant, Missouri, the Hazelwood School District, learned that their school was potentially contaminated by radioactive waste dating back to the Manhattan Project, as verified by independent third-party testing. This was in October of last year. The school was subsequently shut down. The kids were sent home. For months, they weren't in school at all. It was distance learning, which as one parent said at a school board learning, uh, meeting, is not learning at all. Then they, have, they were bused to other school districts, which is currently happening now. The school is still closed. The kids have been given uh, no permanent reassignments. They're being bused to all of these different districts. There's been no cleanup of the site whatsoever. The parents and the school board have repeatedly asked for testing by the United States government and cleanup. They have written to the Department of Energy. They have written to the Army Corps of Engineers. I have written to these agencies. I've written to the president multiple times asking for a government response to this government contamination. I asked your deputy secretary about this in February. He had no answers. I asked the assistant secretary last month. She had no answers, so I'm going to try you now that you're here. I assume you're briefed on this issue. Let's just start with this. On January 23rd, the school board wrote to your department and requested a site eligibility evaluation of all school district properties. Have you responded to them? Um, yes, we did. And what did you say? The, the, we responded. First of all, let me just uh, say, totally understand the significance of the parents' concerns here. Obviously, we don't want any school children to be going to school where there may be a risk of radiation. Um, as you're probably aware, and as we said in the letter to them, that in 1997, Congress transferred the administration and the execution of formerly utilized sites remedial action program, FUSRAP, to the U.S. Army Corps. And that, it's my understanding, they have been doing testing, um, and they are the ones who have the responsibility and the jurisdiction for management uh, of FUSRAP activities. It's only when a site has been totally cleaned up and finished that it comes over to our environmental management. The office. Army Corps, as I'm sure you're aware, says the opposite. They have directed the school district to your agency. They have said, which is why the school board wrote to you on January 23rd. The Army Corps said they needed additional authorization from the Department of Energy, which is why they wrote to you. That is what they have told me as well. They can't do additional testing. They can't do any cleanup without additional authorization. They have pointed us to you. This is what I said to your deputy secretary in February. This is what I said last month. I have not gotten any responses from anybody, not from your department, not from the administration, nobody. I'm sure you can appreciate the deep frustration doesn't quite do it. These kids have been potentially exposed to radioactive waste in their school. The testing found it in the dust particles in the school itself, and now they can't go to school, and for months now, they have gotten a complete runaround from this administration. The Army Corps says it's DOE's fault. DOE says, oh, it's the Army Corps' fault. Nobody will do anything. So what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to follow up with the Army Corps because it's my understanding that they understood that it's in their jurisdiction, and if you're telling me something different, then I have to go back and follow up. So well, follow up. what are you going to do for the kids to get this school well, reopened? Will on. you designate it as a new FUSRAP site? You could designate the school under the Memorandum of Understanding. You can designate the school and the school district as a FUSRAP site. Will you do that? Let me, let me go back and check if I can because it's my understanding it was not under our jurisdiction. It would not be until all cleanup is done. Um, so let me, let me follow up. Okay. It is April. This happened in October. Mm -hmm. The school is still closed. The parents don't have any answers. Listen, I am dead serious about this. Until we get answers for these kids and until we get that school reopened and cleaned up, I'm going to hold every nominee to your department and every piece of legislation. I'm going to do the same thing with regard to the Army Corps. They have gotten the runaround, frankly, for years. This radioactive contamination is in the creek water that runs right by the school. This community has gotten the runaround for years. And just because it's a community of working people and doesn't have big class donors who give big money to politicians doesn't mean they can be ignored. And they have been ignored for literally decades. And now they've been ignored for months. And I'm not going to stand for it. So I'll stand in the way of anything and everything I have to. 
until we get solutions and results. So you come back to me as soon as you can, but until we get some results here, I'm going to stand in the way until these kids get answers. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you very much, Senator. Senator Hickenlooper.